I'm out here by myself. This is spooky. <laughs> Guys, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Hey everyone, we hey are at the uh, Hermitage today. Hermitage is, uh, there's a, it's a ruins in Ancaster, <laughs> Ontario. What was that? The thing, because you look like you didn't know what you were going to say. I didn't. <laughs> uh, it's a ruins in Ancaster, Ontario, which is just um, like 30 minutes down the road from where we live. They say the ruins are haunted. Yes. We're counting on it, that's why we're here. So we're doing our own little self guided ghost tour. So we'll see what kind of footage we got. Maybe we'll see some ghosts. They're coming to get you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are on our way to the ruins. This place has like a real heavy negative energy, they say. So apparently they say for all the woods around us, like if you pay attention, we won't see any animals. I saw two squirrels. Did you? Yeah. I was gonna say, pay attention and see, because apparently they say there's like no, there's no, not a lot of wildlife. But I like just heard something. <laughs> so. Ignore the actual bird sounds. <laughs> it's ruining the validity of our story. That's, it. That's what they say on the internet. So the internet never lies. We all know that. So, uh, behind us here is the ruins of the Hermitage, and we're gonna go explore the grounds. See what we can find. Maybe see some ghosts. Hopefully. Fingers, Fingers hopefully. crossed. It's spooky up here. It's like a great day. It's kind of like overcast, too, but it's just like kind of eerie out today. I'm a bit of a skeptic. I'm not really too much of a believer in ghosts and stuff, but maybe today will change me. Let's see. Who knows? Ah. They're coming to get you, Eric. <laughs> ah. Piece of the ruins fell off. What do you think would happen if I took this with me? I don't know. I don't know what to find out. <laughs> uh, I think the bad spirits would follow me. That's some bad mojo. I probably shouldn't. Like I probably shouldn't even have touched this. Really. Yeah, but you guys do know that this has all been rebuilt. This has all been rebuilt. Yeah. No, it's been fixed. Fixed, but it didn't look like this millions of years ago. It was all crumbled and they refurbished it. It was Florida's refurbished, yeah. Pray to rain on. <laughs> This, no, this is, is not real. This is the. <laughs> this Depot. is from Home Depot. It's haunted. <laughs> it was built 2015. That's random. Is that actually like part of it, or did someone just like stick that in the ground? I don't know. I believe this is the Blarney Stone. You had to kiss the Blarney Stone, right? I don't Isn't know. The point of the Blarney Stone is to kiss it. I don't know my legends very well. <laughs> I'm not kissing this rock. <laughs> and then here you can see the all the old foundation of the place. Eric's a habitual line stepper. I am just dancing all over these spirits' graves, and they are going to haunt me for life now. You're like Craig T. Nelson and the Folter guys. What do you say? You moved the stones, but you left the bodies. <laughs> I'm actually not even lying. I actually really have a bad head pain. Some people say that there's, there's a heavy energy here. And I feel really angry. I think if you step on all four corners, you receive the power of the elders. <laughs> <laughs> corner one. You have to get off the fourth corner. Corner two. Corner three. There we go. I feel the quickening. Give me the wisdom and the power of the elders with this step. I think I just have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you change it on camera. He's taking on other forms. <laughs> so we're in the back corner here. And was this where like they used to do like seances and stuff? Is that kind of the rumor? No, no. The seances are just like people that come here and do weird seances. Oh yeah, I'm not saying like people no, that yeah. lived here doing seances. Oh. I'm saying like since this became the ruins, there's like, you know, I remember they do some there weird rumors stuff. of like people come back here doing like occult stuff, like seances or like devil worship and stuff like that. I mean, how much of that is legit? We can't verify Rituals any of these stories. And stuff. No, I remember we came back at the one, it was a couple years ago. I could have sworn there's like a, there's like a fire pit that's one that built down here. Oh, yeah. Now. So obviously people coming here like after hours or whatever, sneaking into the property at night. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm uncomfortable right now.
This is Steve traveling into the woods. The whole reason we came here was because this place is the heritage, the heritage, the hermitage is supposed to be haunted. So the rumor or the story is they call it the legend of Lover's Lane. So we'll show you guys on the video on the way in. There's a there's a street called Lover's Lane, and that's where we come into. So that's sort of tied to this whole legend of the haunting of the hermitage. So the story says maybe it begins with a legend known in this region simply as Lover's Lane. So famous there's a street named after it, and at the start of this road is William's grave. The coachman, William Black, was denied true love because of his low station in life. He's unable to live with such a void in his life and takes his own life. Discovered by the man who denied him that love, William's body is treated like garbage, cut down into manure and carted to where, Sulphur's, to where Lover's Lane and Sulphur Spring Road meet today. William is tossed into a hole and the noose around his neck. He's still the hermitage and often experienced. So basically the story is, William Black was a coachman who worked for Otto Ives, who built and lived in the Hermitage. So the story is that he fell in love with Otto Ives' daughter and wanted to marry her. But when he talked to Otto about it, Otto said, hell no, you're just a servant. That's all you'll ever be. Get off the property, you can't marry my daughter. So William Black ended up, instead of leaving, hung himself on the property. And Otto Ives found him hanging there and being a man of war and an upstanding citizen, he was so disgusted at how weak William was over killing himself over a petty love that he chopped him down, threw him in the dirt, dragged him up to the top of Lover's Lane and buried him in a hole with the hangman, with the noose that he hung himself still around his neck and just threw him away like garbage. And the rumor is, is that you come up here at night sometimes and you'll actually see William walking from Lover's Lane back to the Hermitage trying to find his uh, true love. I think this was actually giving Kelly the willies. You felt some weird vibes back there? Um, well, I don't know. Not really. I just have a really bad headache all of a sudden. Oh. They say that can be a sign <laughs> of That can be a sign of your, your, your head is haunted. I don't want all these people out there to think that I'm just making crap up because that's what they say. But I'm taking, I, I did, I do have a really sharp head pain all of a sudden. It could be because it's very muggy out here. Or it could be from the spirit. It could either be the weather, the humidity, um, something else, or spirits. <laughs> I think it's the something else. Let's take a look. We're uh, gonna take a walk down this little laneway here. Well, that's like I'm not sure what road that is. So we're at the corner of Lovers Lane and Silver Springs. Springs. This is apparently where they dumped the body of. Uh, William Black, the coachman who hung himself in Haunts the Hermitage. Apparently he was buried up here in an unmarked grave. Whoa. Right now it's all houses and obviously <laughs> lots of cars and a busy intersection. Yeah, it's not super spooky right now. Yeah, if you can see the streets on there, but that is the corner of Sulphur Spring and Lover's Lane where, what was his name again? William Black. Where William Black hung himself. No, this is where they dumped his body. Where they dumped his body. That's right. For love. We just finished our time at the Hermitage in Ancaster. I don't know, I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit creepier. It's his arm's sore. Yeah, I know. Okay. Does that mean the ghost got it? No, it means we need a smaller camera. But I didn't have any personal ghostly experiences while we were here, I don't know about you guys. Not yet, we're still in the, we're still in the middle of the woods here. I'm still a skeptic, so, so the Blair nothing's Witch. changed my mind yet. The only thing that they did say was that there's not a lot of animals in these woods because of the negative energy or the, the spiritual vibes. The vibes of the... Um, and it is true, I haven't seen any. I've heard a few birds, but no like squirrels or chipmunks. Or we could even hear like just... <laughs> like it's, it's quiet as anything here. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Hit like, uh, comment below, tell your friends, share the videos. That's right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.